So today we're going to talk about natural flea treatment or management. Um, about two weeks ago, Eric and I noticed that Bo was starting to itch a little bit more, and that's really uncommon for him. In the past, Bo has had dry skin, and once we changed their diet over to mostly raw, and we're also implementing some oils in their diet, we noticed that Bo completely stopped itching. It totally solved all his problems. So it's been about a year and a half since we've used conventional flea medicine on our dogs and our cats. And it's actually been working great for us. They haven't had fleas until now. So what we think's happening is that our dogs, because they're eating more kibble now, that they don't have as balanced of a diet. So it's creating an imbalance in their body. And that makes them more susceptible to fleas. So let's first talk about food since we know that our diet is one of our main factors in our overall health. So I'm making the cat's food right now, and we usually start with kibble for our cats. And we always give them some sort of moisture in their diet, whether it be wet food or water. Today we're actually gonna use some sardines. So what you want to do to help with flea prevention is you can add some brewer's yeast, just a tiny sprinkle, and some apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is wonderful. Hopefully in the future, this will be the fish that we catch. And if your cat's finicky, it's a good idea to add something, either warming it up or even adding like tuna juice or fish juice, usually cats like that. So we already fed our dogs, but these two are also things that you can put in your dog's meals. And you just would want to give them a little bit more proportionate to their size since we have bigger dogs. Other things we give our dogs to stay healthy is kefir. We give them kefir yogurt, we give them sauerkraut and we also give them eggs, raw eggs. We don't really have that right now because we don't have chickens. So again, this is just a good way to help fight fleas from the inside out and work on your cat's and dog's immune system. Another good way to get the apple cider vinegar into your pet's diet is to actually put some in their water. And when I do this, I always have two bowls available. I have one that's pure water and one with the apple cider vinegar. Generally, they drink it just fine and don't mind it at all. So we're gonna vacuum our couch and the dog's beds. One thing we wanna keep in mind is that the fleas don't live on the animals only themselves, but they can also be in blankets, furniture, and if you had carpet. Thankfully, we don't. So this is a flea comb and Pepper, our black cat with longer fur, is the one who has the most fleas right now. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little black specks, which is flea poop, that came out with this comb in her fur and sometimes you'll even get a flea. So I'm going to show you guys another way to treat the dogs and cats is with a spray. So this is working more on the skin level. And what we're going to do, this is half water, half apple cider vinegar is you spray it on your dogs, usually where there's fleas. And Bandit actually does not have fleas, believe it or not, he's in the same house, but he does not have fleas. But I wanna show you guys on him just to give you kind of an example of how you can do it. So you just kind of work it into their fur. It's okay for them to lick it off. We're not gonna put him through any more torture though since he doesn't actually have fleas. Okay, so we're not going to bathe them, primarily because it's just kind of a hassle out here. It would be too much warm water. It's freezing cold. I don't feel like getting them wet. So what we're going to do for Bo, since he's the monster with more fleas, is use, not Sluggo, this is Diatomaceous Earth. And it's in the powder form. It's food grade, so it's safe to use on animals. It's actually safe to ingest, I think, small amounts of it. 
But what we're gonna do for him is the way this works is it's actually kills the fleas by cutting them up. So you want to have it like in a sprinkler format and you want to dust it on. So I'm just gonna dust a lot on Bo first and then kind of work it into his fur. Do be really careful when using DE because it is harmful to breathe in and it is harmful for your eyes too. Because it, again, it's got these little particles in it that will chop up things. So I recommend if you're gonna use diatomaceous earth, do it outside. Maybe even be smarter and wear some eye protection unlike myself here. And I'm not gonna to put too much near his face because that's not where he's itching. And I don't wanna to get too close to his eyes and his nose and all that, his mouth. Good job, up. So the last and final step that we're going to do is treat the dog beds and the couch. We're going to do a fine mist of the apple cider vinegar and water first, and then I'm going to put a little sprinkling of the DE only on the dog's beds and maybe a little bit where the cats lay. probably vacuum up the diatomaceous earth in the next day or two. You want to let it sit for a while to actually kill those fleas. But as we all know, fleas have cycles. So you may have to repeat this a few times, maybe for two or three weeks to actually get rid of all the fleas. We hope you enjoyed this video. We strongly believe in diet and natural ways to help keep your pets flea free.